Okay, the first person is Suburadi. So we will have to unmute your uh, your mic and then ask the question, please. I can't hear you. Uh, yeah, go can ahead. you hear me? I can. I can. Awesome. Okay. Uh, I have twenty years of uh, experience maintaining various database platforms and uh, data architecture, supporting different businesses so far. Right. So far in my in my career. the questions asked to me are very different questions than what you mentioned right the, the challenges i face on day to day work are very different and you know i have 15 years of career left so do you suggest to attend ik program for people like me what course do you suggest for me if if you say yes Sure. So you know, I think um, so. We've had many people who've had twenty, twenty-five years of experience, right? Who've done the course. Mm-hmm. I think the oldest person to ever do the course was this guy called Jody. I think he was either fifty or fifty-three. I don't remember exactly. But many people between forty-five to fifty, right, have done the course over over these many years. We have about thirteen thousand alumni, right? So as you can imagine, there are people of all ages. So in terms of whether you should do this course or not it depends on the kind of companies that you want to target right if you want to target the let's say fang plus and the fang companies you want to target the top companies any company that pays engineers very well they all interview in this way okay and um all of those companies will have coding questions they will have system design questions they'll have questions on your domain they'll have questions on your career so if you want to target that set of companies you absolutely have to prepare like this if you don't prepare like this then it's going to be very difficult to uh, nail interviews now you can choose to do the interview kickstart course or you can prepare by yourself that's really up to you to uh, decide right um the advantage of doing the interview kickstart course is that it's a very mature program it's this is now close we are almost in our eighth year towards the end of the seventh year we work with 13000 students we have over 500 uh, instructors from all the top tech companies like i pointed out and so it's a very mature process start to finish right in terms of what course to offer it depends on what pathway you want to go and what you have kind of got more experience in and what you worked on more recently right so we offer opportunities across all these different areas and for management as well right so based on what your background is and based on uh, where you want to go right that's the that's possibly the right right path for you to take uh, you can discuss this with any one of our program advisors when you are choosing a path it's best to choose something that you think you're very good at and where you have spent more time recently right because that is what companies are going to look at when they are uh, going to give you interview calls okay all right next person who has raised their hand is abdul and I, i'm going to keep going between people who raise their hands and people who have message on chat right oh, sorry who have message in the q and a section yeah abdul go ahead uh, yeah so thanks thanks for sharing all the details i have couple of questions right uh, so as the earlier participant also said like you know he has uh, 20 years of experience the same goes with me uh, with uh, 20 plus years of experience right so uh, you know <clears throat> when you have spoken Uh, what i felt was you know more on the operational front of uh, uh, the interviews or uh, you know uh, operational way of uh, looking at the candidates what what is uh, required from the interview but uh, you know when uh, some specific domains are concerned like for example i come from a background of sap and uh, right. and and within sap also you know there are uh, again focused areas like Say if a finance vertical is there, then sales right. module is there, or, or other other things are there. So in this case, if a twenty plus years person is going to come, uh, what is that you would be suggesting that person to do? So, Abdul, are you? I, are I'll you have tar- a, another question. Yeah, based, so just uh, that's one question. Yeah. Are you are you targeting SAP roles? I am. I am because you know currently I am into SAP role. I am handling the project. I am handling the so if you have program worked, management. If you have worked only in the SAP domain and you are targeting SAP specific roles, then this is not a course for you, right? For those sort of interviews, you are going to have much more SAP oriented um, questions, much more questions around your project, 
right much more questions around your past experience in sap right um and so i would encourage you actually not to do the course if you are thinking about uh, continuing in and you want to focus on the sap domain right this course is for software engineers who come from any of the domains that you see on the screen here right back end front end full stack machine learning android ios our entire course is built by understanding those interviews in detail and then we build up curriculum right so you know like i was explaining during the webinar th this is a full stack uh, uh this is tpm we have for engineering management we have for data science so this makes sense if you fall in one of these areas and if you fall in one of these areas then you will get asked questions in all these different components right coding large scale system design domain specific questions you will get questions on your career right you will have if you are a manager you'll get questions on management right so we are oriented towards helping people who come from these sets of domains keep leveling up in their career right as an as somebody who's focused their entire career on sap this probably is not the right thing for you to okay uh unmukt uh hi um so uh i'm quite in interesting on uh on actually leveling up myself i'm an um experienced asset so uh the thing is like um uh, i'm uh, i'm actually actively interviewing too so what what would be the best way to like uh fit myself uh into the course because uh i think i'm gonna pretty much join after this um so like i i, I want to know the ro road maps that you guys set for uh assets Okay, so uh, let me just show you the uh, the test engineer curriculum. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, but but for all of these guys, you know, let me just find it. You can always ask our, you know, so all of you would have gotten a enrollment agreement. Okay, if you respond to that agreement, you mm -hmm. can reach one of our program advisors and you can ask them to share this with you, right? Whether you choose to join or not, a secondary, right? We want. our goal is to help people fulfill their potential right and we think that most people have the potential to be at much better places than they are already at what is missing is a path from where they are to where they need to go right and and that path is challenging it's difficult all of those right but we have organized those paths right so you should all think about this as a path to help you fulfill your potential and to get from where you are to where you want to get to this mm -hmm. um unmuk is the test engineering curriculum right so the test engineering curriculum emanates from the test engineering interview process there will be mm -hmm. so the interview process is here right one to two rounds of general coding then you will have questions on your domain you'll have a few questions on system design and then you will have questions on behavior right depending on the kind of company like google for example checks for what's called googliness mm 